All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, one of the biggest problems of the economy of this country is the lack of constant power supply. This is because economies are driven by production and power is the major ingredient of production. And this is deliberate. The political class makes sure that we don't have constant power supply in this country because they know that if Nigeria has constant power supply, Nigerians will become more productive and poverty will then reduce. And since they weaponize poverty, since poverty is their weapon that they used to hold the people down and dominate them, anything that will alleviate poverty, they will work against. And that is why they are deliberately making sure that we remain in darkness. And Nigerians have been saying any region that is able to provide 24 hours power supply, people will relocate their businesses to that region. The region will boom economically. And just yesterday, as a result of the geometric power plant project in the southeast, the residents of Aba, Abia State celebrated 48 hours uninterrupted power supply. And in less than those 48 hours, businesses have already concluded plans to move their headquarters to Abia State. Before I show you details of this information, let me quickly show you this disgusting update. You know, I keep saying here that one of the major qualities a leader must possess is empathy. Because most of the decisions you are going to be taking will be affecting people that are far lower than you on the social cadre. And empathy is obviously lacking in this Tinubu administration. Since the removal of fuel subsidy, it has been hell for Nigerians. People have been struggling to feed, struggling to pay house rent, struggling to send their children to school. But these people don't care. The other day, Bayon Onuga came out and said, cost of living is cheaper in Nigeria than anywhere in Africa. So why are people complaining? And now, Tinubu himself has come out to mock and taunt Nigerian workers. Look at how the papers reported it. Nationwide strike. NLC should wait until 2027 to change government, says Tinubu. On Thursday, Tinubu urged organized labor to wait until the 2027 election or make peace, saying it is unfair to call for strikes within nine months of his administration. Tinubu said this at the inauguration of the Red Line Rail in Lagos, reiterating his commitment to delivering good governance to Nigerians. Mr. Tinubu said, no matter how much they claimed their freedom and rights, calling strikes within nine months of an administration was unacceptable. If you want to participate in the electoral process, wait until 2027. If not, then make peace. You are not the only voice of Nigerians, Mr. Tinubu told NLC. Mr. Tinubu assured Nigerians that the country will be out of the woods with perseverance and hard work. His comments came days after the NLC staged a nationwide protest rally over the high cost of living in the country. It planned the protest for two days, but suspended it after the first day. The NLC also threatens to strike later if the government fails to address grievances. Now, people are complaining about hunger, about poverty, how what they earn has become useless in the current market and in the current economy. And all this man can come out and tell them is that they should make peace or wait until 2027. That means everything they are saying is political. It, that means he doesn't care about their pains. He is now telling them indirectly that they have no option. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Tunde Alobe says, he is already thinking of 2027. He will be greatly disappointed. Mm. And Chinon so here says, Clowns in government don't like to be reminded of their responsibilities to be accountable to the people. Well, the man said it during the campaigns. He said, protest all you want. I will not do anything. He made his position clear. And this tweet by Ola Shukbo Jake says, This is Tinubu's tactics all along. 
discredit anyone who is telling him to do the right thing by playing the victim. Oh, look at me. NLC want me gone from office and his supporters will jump on the nonsense. Ajayo needs to start doing the right thing. When you soil your hands, this is what happens. Ajayo's hands are not clean. Why is it now they are talking about back-to-back -back protests? The NLC chairman, Joe Ajero's hands are not clean. Since they removed this fuel subsidy and the government has been lying to the people, making promises that they are not keeping, what has Joe Ajero done? Has there been any strong, lengthy strike? No. All he does is to threaten. We are going on strike next week, Tuesday. And before you know it, they'll hold a roundtable meeting, probably give him envelopes, and he will suspend the strike. And that is why they are now being taken for a ride. And Lucas here says, we are in very deep shit. Every Nigerian should have a contingency plan. I'm telling you, my brother. And this tweet here by Lola says, dictator vibes. The union can protest one month after a leader is elected if they have a reason to. We have seen leaders resign six months after they assumed power. In a democracy, the president doesn't have a right to dictate when anybody can protest lawfully. It is their right. Well, what he's saying indirectly is that this is not a democracy. Eh? What he's saying is that this is a grab it, snatch it, and run away with it platform. So you cannot protest anyhow you want. Now, let us talk about the magic that uninterrupted power supply will do to the economy of the Southeast. Look at this. Breaking news. Nimeth Pharmaceuticals PLC, headquartered in Lagos, has disclosed plans to move their manufacturing facilities to Aba. Now, that pharmaceutical company was founded in 1997. They have branches all over Nigeria with headquarters in Lagos. And after just 48 hours of uninterrupted power supply, I know they must have been thinking about it when they were talking about the whole project and everything. But now plans have been concluded for them to move. And I'm going to be bringing several to you because there are several companies in line. But we are waiting for sources that we can trust to confirm their movement before we announce it. This is what we are going to be seeing in the coming months. This is this is drastic, guys. The whole Sonwolu destroying the Keja market, going to where Igbos, you know, uh, thrive in Lagos to destroy everywhere. These things are going to come to an end. I mean, I have been saying this. If Nigeria can go to China, go to the US to import goods into this country then every region anywhere you are in this country if you can make yourself relevant people will come there and take from you you necessarily don't have to be in lagos you don't have to be in lagos for god's sake there is no limit to what to expect and i'm so excited about this and look at how nigerians reacted look at some of the tweet reactions this tweet here says this is why nigeria is in dire need of restructuring do this and watch Nigeria develop under four years. As everyone now wants to relocate to Aba, other states will start to replicate Abia's success and this will in turn drive massive development in the country. Decentralize Nigeria. Mm. And this tweet by Oracle of Jaws says, Wow, let others follow and watch Igbos leave Lagos in droves. Mm, that is it. The contribution of the Igbos to Lagos, if it is not appreciated enough, let them take all these things back to the Southeast. And let the Southeast become like the Asia, like the China and the Americas of this world to the other parts of Nigeria. And this tweet here says, one by one, they will be returning. Lagos is dead. Oh! And this tweet by Edon says, if you can fix light issues, you don't know the impact it will have on the economy. I will even charge high on tariff. Nigerians don't care about tariff. They are ready to pay. Just give us 24 hours power supply and let it be constant. And this tweet by Mind Game says, Good move. You don't need to struggle. Just put the right things in place. They will come to you. That is it, my brother. Especially in this country, Nigeria, that people are so docile, where production is so much on the low. Put your region in order. 
produce and this whole country will come running to you i know these updates will not sit well with the agbadorians the apc supporters <laughs> this they will have sleepless nights over this but this is just the beginning continue hating the southeast will continue to grow some people will say ben jokes are you from the southeast it doesn't matter where i am from i hate injustice I hate injustice. I stand for justice. That is what I stand for. And that is why I keep saying that this region, the economy of this country should be officially handed over to the Southeast. If Nigeria wants to pull out of this economic quagmire. But until then, make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogbonge political news. Where will I go like? Why? Because now, because of now, now I did here. So, don't go away. Don't go away.